focusing on because this is what God gave us until Christ returns again. So, um, fellowship of the Spirit, and then he states, if any, affection and mercy. These are the traits that are to be found among believers. Christ showed these to us, and we are to turn and have them in us now as well. And that's a little hard, affection and mercy, when everybody's beating each up and beating each other up in the world today, whether it's politically or whether it's, you know, uh, you know, you see the guy, road rage, don't have road rage, okay, guy just yesterday got out of his car, went over to another car, he leaned into there, the kid in the car, 18 years old, shot him, now the kid is being arrested, we got a dead guy and we got a guy that's thrown his life away, road rage, okay, Instead of that, we can have affection and mercy. It's hard in this world because people are frustrating, okay? And the world is frustrating and it's getting more so with the way things are being run in all the nations of the world. But if we can have that, we won't end up dead on the road at 50 years old and thrown away our life at 18 years old for nothing. For, if you think about it, was it worth it? The answer is no, okay? Each of these clauses that we've looked at is given in order for Paul to next make his heartfelt petition to them. In like manner, we are to use this same thought process as we encounter similar circumstances in our own Christian lives. Okay, life application. Paul asked if in each of these cases, implying that it is the way it should be. Let me read them again so you see this. Uh, if any comfort in love, if any fellowship in the spirit, if any affection and mercy, and he began with, I missed that, if there is any consolation in Christ. Paul asked if, in each of these, implying that it is the way it should be. We are not to be devoid of these things he has asked us about, but rather we are to have them as a part of who we are in Christ. Okay, it's not if conditional, it's if meaning it should be.